I think as an alumni, it's really great to give back, pay it forward actually to a community from which I've really got a lot. So just to very briefly introduce myself, I'm Niharika, I'm an economics graduate from SRCC and um, I work as a policy consultant with uh, IP Global, which is an international development consulting organization. And um, over the last, you know, in my short, but what I call very meaningful career, I have had the opportunity to work with the likes of UNICEF, uh, UNCDF and uh, the Gates Foundation in India and a few other Asian and African countries as well. And uh, since we are in an uh, alumni connect meeting, I think it will be really great if I could reflect a bit on my GGI experience as well. Uh, my association with GGI dates way back in 2020 pre-pandemic times. I've had the privilege of experiencing GGI even physically and truth be told when I joined as a fellow in online modality, I was amazed, stupefied to see how Shatakshi and Naman were pulling off even better master classes in online mode and I've already told this to them and I think um, I mean each of the master classes have given me you know these these skill sets I talk about the pyramid principle I talk about three-point communication I talk about driving difficult conversations and negotiations all of which are very important to what I do as a policy consultant and all of the, these I have just infused and become obsessed with these. And I think a lot has to do with the implementation intention and the action based learning that you know we have at GGI. The second of course would be the power of the collective and the community. I think the diversity is such, Naman talked about doing things uh, that are, you know, that people around you don't do. SRCC is a place that nobody does public policy as such. Somehow got the courage when I attended the policy consulting masterclass when I was at SRCC. Really, I just thought that yes, this is for me and I just ventured out into it. And just helping others. I remember when I finished my fellowship, I had two other folks who had just landed jobs in the field of monitoring and evaluation. I remember getting on calls with Tanya and uh, uh, and Vidhi and discussing what monitoring and evaluation is all about. So that, and secondly, I think a very wonderful attitude of no complacence, always being head on to take new challenges. There was a period in my life when I was just working on food systems projects and somehow just had the courage to walk up to my manager and say hey give me something else to work i want to work on climate change which is a, which is which is the reason i got to work in bangladesh with you and cdf so i think it gave me the courage and confidence to navigate a sector which is very non traditional and also dominated a lot by older men it's my observation <laughs> so uh, with that i think i'm happy to take up any questions and happy to answer yeah This is so beautifully articulated. Thank you so much, Niharika. And uh, of course, the journey is upward and onward. If anyone has any questions for Niharika, we'll just wait for 30 seconds. Otherwise, we'll move on. If you find a question later on in the call as well, uh, we could connect you with Niharika as well. Go ahead, Ayush. Yeah, hi, hi, Niharika. First of all, a very happy new year to you and all other my other peers as well so niharika you were saying initially that in srcc people generally don't go into public policy they either go into you know the uh, the mentioned field which was earlier there as well so like how did you you know gain that courage and like uh, that you know inner feeling you know to uh, you know change your career or you know look out for other options so you know that inner strength where does it come from like how you I just want to hear about it. Thanks for that question. It's a very nice question. And um, honestly, SRCC is a wonderful place to be because uh, it has really hardworking people and it has, uh, by the grace of God, a really good brand name, which somehow or the other becomes very important. But uh, yes, traditional careers would be typical management consulting or investment banking or core finance jobs. I would say the rush for core finance job was really, uh, it took to me and I thought that I was someone 
who would want to do core finance and i ventured out to did my cfa level 1 and um cracked a few interviews as well but uh, ultimately you know i was preparing for one of one of the good consulting firm interviews i was selected and which is when i realized that hey this is not coming naturally to me i want to work on social impact issues and literally no one at that time was talking about it and uh, i just told my parents and uh, i found some courage i i came across the gji policy consulting masterclass the srcc cohort that was one i took my interview at at, at the firm i currently work at just after that a uh, masterclass um there i met a lot of like minded people and i was happy to see that okay at least there's few people like me so i i i had a lot of things ahead of me somehow i was i started preparing for masters i got into all of the organize all the tests and the azim prem gs of india at least but uh, i decided to work again uh, because i had heard so much in the policy consulting master class that i attended back then that having that work ex is really important and somehow i just chose i i, I chose to go for it gain the relevant skills i'm so happy i think i would call work experience indispensable and in the way i think you know i in my journey now i realize when i'm a policy consultant i realize finance and social impact are really not uh, mutually exclusive i work on climate finance and i work on climate change and finance can use so many good things so i think yes it it does take a leap of faith but i think if you you must have the you must have the courage to acknowledge what you really feel for and look around see what's there 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 must be people like you uh you know people who you can access or probably who people who you can read about and try to see what you can you know see test the waters i think i don't don't be afraid to fail i think yeah that that's what i would say thanks thanks the dancer make it yeah um hi nihanika how are you doing uh Good. happy new year to everyone uh so because we have similar backgrounds and we have the same college i have this question for you that um how your transition from an economics on a student uh to a policy consulting you know, in the field of public policy how gdi has contributed to your skill set because um you are one of the first people when i talk to after graduation that this is what i want to do so i feel your journey will definitely help me out and you know carve my own experience so yeah it that's a wonderful question and um i want to say that i think um getting to your dream job has two has two aspects first of course is the skills the skill set that you have to have skill sets mindsets and attitudes and number two is simply landing the opportunity to interview in the first place right i think in terms of uh, landing interviews uh, i have been fortunate that i had the support of srcc but i also know a lot of my peers at gji who have informally helped each other out land interviews i think swati is going to talk about that as well and i know of a few folks in the policy consulting space naman uh, gupta and so on and so forth who are working at samagra who have leveraged the community to their best i talk about the second aspect and i reflect on my uh, personal experience the upskilling part of it right so i've always been i'll take my specific example i've always been someone with muddled thinking and on having great ideas but not being able to put them across um for people to make sense out of them right so it was obvious that uh you know skills that skills of problem solving in a structured and creative way you know structured communication how do you communicate how do you negotiate 
from whatever i've learned from the three you know my three favorite master classes that i call the policy consulting the management communications and the management consulting and sustainability master classes very recently i found myself in this room uh, with uh, i was working on a food systems project with the gates foundation very recently found myself in this room with very senior folks delegations from five governments uh, different countries world economic forum adb and i had a massive complicated piece of information to be communicated and i have always you know i have just practiced this three point communication the pyramid principle of communication and i mean just just how it's you know built into my life now i cannot believe it so that's one i am very confident in communicating my first conversation with shatakshi i told her shatakshi i feel very under confident because i'm the youngest person in the room everyone has phd's and two masters degree what will i do and i have come to realize that if i have a place on the table which is a rare opportunity to have and i hope it gets it doesn't be as rare as it is right now you ought to speak and if you have the skills having the confidence you have to exude that confidence and put your opinions across i think that is something that i have actively learned from everyone that i work i mean swati is there i can see abhay is there we we all really supported each other i think that that the power of the community the power of the master classes the power of communicating at a very personal level with everyone at gti including shatakshi and naman i think that is something that i've really capitalized on yeah that would be my answer thank you so much thanks meharika that was really beautiful uh, encapsulation i would always say that people who are able to achieve their dream jobs and succeed in those dream jobs gti is just a platform so a lot of credit goes to you as well um i have unfortunately seen few folks who do not capitalize it uh, on it as well could be their sense of prioritization but we ought to give it to folks who who do capitalize on the entire opportunity right so it's it's an individual success it's your success uh, be a gj just the facilitator and i mean it every time i say this because that's how successful people or any job opportunity or any mindful connections are made 